Drop a like if you agree that sniping is a ton of fun in Fortnite, and it's very, very rewarding. And there's four different snipers in the game right now, and you have plenty of ways to go about taking those shots at people from extreme distances. But which sniper really is the best? And you've got different snipers for different playstyles. I understand that, but which one really is the cream of the crop? Which one is the top of the pack? Today, we're gonna be examining the four sniper rifles in their current state and see which one really is the best in the game. And just for reference, this video is being recorded in mid-September of 2018. So obviously, things will change in the future. So be sure to let me know in the comments which sniper is your favorite to use right now and if you find this video informative as we go through. Let's get into it. This month's giveaway is for a new PlayStation 4 console. All you have to do to enter is drop a like on this video, be subscribed to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. And in the comment section, let me know why you want to win the PS4 and include your Twitter handle so I can contact you if you're the winner. The winner will be announced at the end of the month. Okay, we're going to start off with the hunting rifle. That's right, first things first. It's a favorite of more aggressive players, and that is thanks to its fast fire rate, its lack of a scope, and it's allowing for close range domination. The hunting rifle is available in uncommon and rare rarities, with the uncommon version dealing 86 damage to the body and the rare version dealing 90 damage. Now, that's pretty low considering that it's a sniper rifle, but you need to keep in mind that it's also a 2.5 times headshot multiplier. So, a headshot will deal over 200 damage, meaning it will always be a one-shot kill to the head, regardless of what the enemy has in guards of health and shields. Now, the hunting rifle also has a pretty respectable rate of fire with one shot every 1.8 seconds for the rare version and one shot every 1.9 seconds for the uncommon. But the main downside of this gun is its lack of scope. Because the hunting rifle doesn't have a great visual range, it will often be outclassed by the other snipers at long range since the enemy, well, they just have an immediate advantage with a scoped weapon, which would allow them to get more precise while lining up their shot. But to be fair, the fast fire rate of the hunting rifle also allows greater potential for follow-up shots. And it also is hands down the best sniper to have during the late game. Now, during the late game, you wanna be mobile. You wanna be as mobile as possible. So having a bolt action or a heavy sniper can be a bit of a liability due to how much they slow you down. But with the hunting rifle, you never have to worry about all that. You can really, really run around and spam this thing if you need to. And well, speaking of spamming, that takes us into our next sniper rifle. Oh, the semi-auto sniper rifle. This is a fan favorite of people that can't aim like myself, right? Probably the most obnoxious gun of the entire game. I get it. The semi-auto has been in the game for a long, long time, and it's gotten a ton of changes over the last few months. For a long time, it was seen as one of the worst guns in the entire game, but since it recently got a massive damage buff as well as a rarity decrease, you've probably been seeing this gun a lot more. Perhaps you've been seeing it a little too much because I, I know I have. Now, the semi-auto sniper is available in uncommon and rare rarities with the uncommon version dealing 75 damage to the body and the rare version dealing 78. Like the other snipers, the semi-auto sniper gets that 2.5 times headshot multiplier, meaning the uncommon version will deal 187 damage to the head and the rare version will deal 195. So the semi-auto sniper is the only sniper in the game that is not guaranteed to be a one-shot kill to the head. But that's still pretty strong considering, and if the enemy doesn't have a full 200 health, a headshot will most likely take them down anyway. So why is the gun so obnoxious? Why is it so hated? Well, it's because it's extremely strong and extremely spammable. The Semi boasts a fire rate of 1.2 shots per second and has a 10 round mag and a very, very quick reload time of just under 2.5 seconds. So it's becoming increasingly common to see people just standing in place and spamming the gun over and over because it's so freaking easy to do. Personally, I think the gun needs a nerf or just needs to be removed altogether. But for the sake of this video, let's just say it's very strong and a good contender for the best sniper in the game, even though a lot of people don't want to hear that. Next up, we have the Bolt Action Sniper, the tried and true Bolt that people just gravitate towards. Now, the Bolt Action recently got a rarity change, and it now only comes in rare and epic rarities, with the rare version dealing 105 damage to the body, and the epic dealing a respectable 110. Like the other snipers, the Bolt Action does have that headshot multiplier of 2.5 times, making it more than capable of dropping an enemy with a single headshot, since it will be dealing way more 
than 200 damage. Now, the main appeal of this gun is its consistency. The scope is clean, it has great range, and the damage is enough to take out an unshielded enemy with a single body shot. In a game with so much randomness like Fortnite has, it is good to have a weapon that feels consistent. But that's not to say the bolt action doesn't have some drawbacks, because it does. The main issue with the bolt is the fire rate, as it's only able to fire one shot at a time, and then you have to wait a full three seconds to be able to fire again, or 2.8 seconds if you get the epic. And in a game as fast as Fortnite, especially with the current meta, those three seconds can be the death of you. Another problem that the three second reload time prevents is the fact that it prevents you from getting a real good follow-up shot. With the hunting rifle and the semi-auto, you can at least spam them a bit and get some follow-up shots if your first one doesn't connect. If the bolt doesn't connect, it's one and done. Now, all in all, it is great during the early game, but probably less effective in the end game. And finally, we have the Heavy Sniper, the most recent sniper to the game, the extremely powerful real-world Barrett 50 Cal. Now, this is available in Epic and Legendary Rarities, making it one of the rarest guns in the game right now. The Epic version will deal a whopping 150 damage to the body, and the Legendary will do 157. Of course, both of these versions will annihilate anybody with a single headshot, and it boasts the highest structure damage in the entire game, dealing over 1,000 structure damage with a single bullet, meaning... 99% of the time, it will destroy whatever piece of the environment that it connects with. This makes this thing extremely helpful in squad play. You can blast down a wall and let your teammates spam grenades or SMG shots through the new hole. However, the Heavy Sniper does have its drawbacks, as the Bolt does. It is slow, people, with the Bolt, the Epic, and the Legendary versions having to reload over four seconds. In a game like Fortnite, four seconds is an eternity. Now, personally, I think the Heavy Sniper is much more effective in team play as opposed to solo because of how much easier it is to reload and be safe with your teammates around. So in conclusion, which one is the best? Well, I'm going to separate my answer into both solos and team play because I think whether or not you have teammates really changes the dynamic. In solo play, I think the best sniper in the game is the semi-auto sniper. It's spammy, it's powerful, and since it's solo play, you can eliminate enemies by taking their health down instead of just knocking them out to be revived. However, in team's play, I think the best sniper in the game is the heavy sniper. It's extremely slow and hard to use quickly, but if you have a teammate defending you or coordinating with you against other squads, it quickly becomes one of the most terrifying guns in the game as you can rip through enemy fortifications and deal 150 plus player damage with a single bullet. As for the hunting rifle, I think it is the best sniper for late game as it can be spammed while dealing 200 plus damage if you get that headshot and you don't have to worry about the scope interfering with the smaller play area or the closer range fights. And lastly, I think the Bolt is the worst sniper in the game, and it hurts me to say that. It's a good weapon, but for how slow it is, it's really not worth taking over the semi-auto or the heavy. Sure, it can deal 200 damage, but at the end of the day, it's still slow. And the heavy sniper may be slow as well, but that weapon can tear through cover and do damage. As much as I like the Bolt, I think it's the worst sniper in the game right now. So there you go, guys. You let me know in the comment section which one of these sniper rifles do you think is the best or do you think is the worst? Or do you think it all depends on the situation? Like I said, early game, mid game, late game, solos, duo squad. There's a lot of factors that come into play, but I just, and I hate to say it, I hate to put the semi-auto above anything, especially the Bolt, because the Bolt is a legendary gun. Well, it's not legendary, rest in peace legendary, but you guys know what I mean. It's been around and everybody loves it, but you just have to go with what situations you have. If you guys enjoyed this video, take a second, Drop a like, leave in the comment what your favorite sniper rifle is and what scenario you prefer to be in when you have a certain gun. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure you turn on those notifications. And if you guys enjoy these videos from time to time that aren't really in a top 10 format, we're more breaking down a certain thing in the game, definitely let me know in the comment section. It doesn't just have to be Fortnite. We can span this out and do other games. We could do Battlefield. We could do Call of Duty multiplayer blackouts. We could even do stuff like this, how to kind of talk things out about Red Dead Redemption if you guys are interested in anything like that. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Check out the other videos that pop up on the screen here in a second, and I'll see you guys soon.